Greetings everybody, I'm Father Mike, this is Elements of Faith. It's uh, been a few few weeks or months, but we are now on our last window here in the beautiful historic St. Joseph Catholic Church here in Shelbyville, Indiana. The last window that we are thinking about and, and spending a little time with is right above the confessional in the church, and it is the image of the prodigal son. The prodigal son is us. Every morning, we have a decision to make. Will we be the prodigal son or not? The prodigal son runs away instead of remaining with the father. The prodigal son trades the life of grace that he has for something that he thinks might be better. The prodigal son walks away from his duties, his obligations, his responsibilities, and his blessings with his family and goes elsewhere. Friends, sometimes that is us. And I think as we spend time looking at this window, we see a man who had fallen from grace, but a man who was defeated by grace because it was prevenient grace according to the teaching of the church that caused the prodigal son to say I'm going home that's what we call prevenient grace the grace that comes before grace because it's true that all is grace and so this prodigal son who had fallen so much and spent his inheritance and selfishness and all the deadly sins he committed every one of them but when he hit rock bottom he discovered that the rock was God the rock was the father and as he hit that rock he says you know what I've messed up. I'm going home. He rehearses his lines. He knows exactly what he's going to say to the Father. He's going to say, I have sinned against you and against heaven. I am not worthy to be called your son. But the Father catches a glimpse of his boy. And the Father, it's almost like, I kind of imagine him standing there in the kitchen looking through the looking through the blinds of the window above the sink and he looks out and he sees in a far off distance a very small figure of a man he loved very much it was his son and so the father runs out arms wide open to receive his son and he embraces him and he brings him back and he throws a party Friends, every time we go to confession, our God, his arms are wide open and he comes to meet us where we are and he embraces us tightly and he says, you're coming home. And sometimes he doesn't even let us finish our little, the whatever we've prepared, you know, the prodigal son had prepared his speech and all that and father said, he interrupts him and he says, you're forgiven. You're forgiven. Now come reclaim your place in this family. And friends, that's what happens in confession. It's my joy and honor as the priest to spend on some days as much as 12 hours in that room as people come home, people who have fallen in big ways, some of them in small ways, but who have realized that they had wandered too far and now they come back. And this window, it's, a, it's not a window of judgment. It's a window of mercy. It's a window of love. And that's what confession is all about. It's about allowing God to love us, allowing those divine mercy rays to envelop us and forgive us and strengthen us that we might remain more faithful in the future. And so friends, if it's been a while since you've been to confession, go look at that window and then go to the place right below it. God bless you.